Many in the boxing world were surprised last year when it was announced that undefeated and unheralded Rob Brandt of Minnesota was the only American fighter tapped to participate in the World Boxing Super Series Super Middleweight Tournament. Perhaps even more surprising considering Brandt had been competing as a middleweight and even secured a lofty ranking with the WBA. But despite all of his previous middleweight leg work, Brandt jumped at the chance to scale an extra 8 pounds and take on some of the world's best at 168 pounds. But Brandt's lopsided decision loss to two-time late heavyweight world champion Jorgen Bramer demonstrated that, for now, middleweight is where he needs to be. And despite the overzealous swing at super middleweight glory, Brandt is a reasonable man and is back at his optimum weight. Strong, fast, and lean, with an ability at 160 pounds to be light on his feet and heavy with his fists, and is a great addition to a stacked field featuring Murata, Andre, O'Sullivan, Lemieux, and others looking to punch their way to the top of the 160 pound tier. The question is, will his brief time on the large Super Series stage set back his middleweight career, or will his poor showing against Bramer actually make him more desirable for a fellow middleweight looking for a so-called easier night's work? If he's shut out of the seemingly lucrative middleweight marketplace, then the journey back to his previous plateau could prove to be arduous and time-consuming. But with all eyes in the crowded middleweight scene, one good night is all Rob Brandt needs to transform from the misplaced fighter looking for a weight to call home back to his seat at the 160-pound big boy table.